We have learnt more about the brain in the last five years than we have in the history of mankind. Isn't it time we applied this neuroscience to selling? We'll simplify some of this neuroscience to make it more palatable and memorable. So please don't quote us in any scientific journals. The intention here is to simplify a complex science. You see, the selling mind and the buying mind are made up of the same three regions. The reptilian brain, the emotional brain, and the logical brain. The reptilian brain is the filter, your gut. It decides if something requires attention or not. If you can't get your buyer's attention, then you're doomed before you begin. The neurochemical of attention is cortisol. Higher levels of cortisol equal higher level of attention. The emotional brain is the lover, your heart. The more relevant your message and the more contrast you create between pain and pleasure, the more likely you are to drive an emotional desire to change and act. As you establish empathy and relatedness, you align to your buyer's desires. The neurochemical of empathy is oxytocin. Higher levels of oxytocin equal higher levels of relatedness and empathy. The logical brain is the doer, your head. Once the emotional brain has established desire, it looks to the logical brain to find evidence to support this feeling and then to act. The logical brain requires motivation to do this. The neurochemical of motivation is dopamine. The higher the levels of dopamine, the more likely your buyer will act. However, the problem with most of our communication is that we don't align it to how the brain responds to messages. We normally create a logical argument for change and then try and deliver that to the buyer's logical brain. But the brain isn't wired that way. The brain always receives the message in that specific order, reptilian, emotional, then logical, and if your message is not engineered to align to that, not engineered to drive the involuntary neurochemical responses you want, then your message and good intention are likely to fall on deaf ears, or more accurately, on a disengaged brain. But what if? What if there was a way to structure your messaging so that it worked with the brain and leveraged existing pathways to drive cortisol, oxytocin and dopamine into the bloodstream and dramatically increase the chances of your message hitting home? There is the age-old art, or should we say, science, of storytelling. The question is, are you aligning your message to the wiring of the brain through story selling?